Okay, update. We've done the beautiful bow pole. Shane's finished that off, and um, you all saw that in the previous video. With the, it looks like a dragon head. It's so cool. So um, now it's time to put our uh, trampoline together, which is some spectra netting that we've got. I think Shane brought it in from the states, so it's very special. And um, I think he's just putting in the stainless tube now which is what we're going to attach all the netting to, so we're going to go give them a hand. Finished your office job and now it's time to start your Pikea job. What are you doing? Putting the um, stainless steel lashing rods into the tubes. All but the top ones in. These are the, these are the hard ones. Hang on. Whoa. Let's see if we can see the metal rod in there. And that's the bit that we're going to tie the um, trampoline to. Right, what I need you to do is um, follow it up because it wants, it's quite bent on the end, so it wants to keep coming out. Oh, okay. So you just want me to feed it through a bit if I can? Yeah. Okay. This. That's the tool. That's the poker in our tool. Got your pretty new net. Pretty new net. Pretty new net. Do some rope work now. Do some rope work. A bit like. Finally. my beautiful net. Yep. What are we going to do with the excess bit? I don't know. A hammock for the a hammock seat for the front. Will there be enough? Look like you're busy, Aiden. This is the bit that I put on the intro for kids working. Kids being slaves working on boats. Yeah, slave kids. 
young barnacle slaves. We got one on. Yep. Same last time. Flashing nets. Super highly technical gauge. Yeah. Three fingers. Three fingers. And the kids have already pre-cut, helped you pre-cut some of those. Yep. Oh, I think they lost interest pretty quickly. And so, what is it? Spectra? Dynex, yep. SK78. I got some SK99 there. Uh, that's just because that's what I had left over. Um, but yeah. SK78, 2.5 mil. Because it's quite a strong net, isn't it? It's not your average. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, this is Dynex. net. Yeah, this net's Dynex as well. It's not polyester um, like your usual nets. So, this is the same uh, material as your low stretch, high performance halyards and things like that. Um, it's and why did you decide we needed that for this boat? Uh, two re oh, there's a bunch of reasons. One, it's naturally UV stable, so it, and they actually, the black color is a, a waxy dye, so that protects it even more. So the longevity of the net is far superior to all the rest. It outlasts all the others, so it actually ends up cheaper in the long run. You just pay for it in the beginning. So it should last forever? Pretty close to. Oh yes, well we'll see, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> um, and? and the lack of stretch uh, and that for me is quite important um, because stiff tramps are much much safer to uh, walk across particularly in adverse conditions um, and <laughs> you know yourself you had me whinging and moaning and complaining when I twisted my ankle on the last set of polyester nets and why separate pieces uh, see if we can see here so you can see where you put that metal tube through. Rod. Yeah. Sorry, the metal rod into the tube. Yeah. And now we're just lashing and tightening. Um, why? Somebody asked us why separate? Why do you do like? Why separate? Yeah, why separate? Okay. Tying knot because it's safer, flat out safer is the first reason. The second reason is the tension that I can apply to this net is phenomenal. Um, when this net is finished, um, it's like walking almost on a solid um, piece of the boat because it doesn't stretch. Um, and because it doesn't stretch, you need to be able to um, get quite a bit of tension on it in this makes the, the feeling of walking on these nets you can't compare it to any of the others um, it's it's really good but yeah so if we blow out for some reason something rubs on this one um, and it chafes through this one it's no, no, got no, no, I'm not no, I'm uh, pointing at the wrong thing yeah. sorry so if something rubs on here and it blows out we lose one link and I've got 50 others here, so the whole net isn't gonna come undone. People that lace these around here, around here, around here, around here, around here, around here, you blow this one string and you can lose the whole, well, as far as that that lacing goes. So it's not a very safe option. Um, and you just can't get the tension in it. You cannot get the tension for a good net um, with a continuous lacing. And uh, this is very time consuming, but it also means that I can um, dial the net into where I want it to be positioned as well. Uh, quite a bit of time spent making sure all the, the lines in the squares semi line up so it doesn't look all crooked and twisted and horrible. There's small children trashing the boat. Um, mm. How many times do you have to re 
retention it, do you think? About three, three is the minimum usually, but it usually takes four. So even though the material that it's made from is low stretch, when the net maker makes it, the weave is quite loose. So you can see this is a knot, what they call a knotless um, net. And when they weave this, this weave here is quite loose. Um, so it takes a while for this weave here to settle in and, and sort of squeeze, squeeze up. Um, so it stretches initially quite a lot um, whilst the, the uh, weave takes up. But once that weave is taken up, uh, this thing doesn't doesn't stretch. Um, we would retension this maybe once a year, maybe once every year and a half if we were lucky. Um, oh, really? Once it's, once it's stretched in. So we have to keep retensioning it. But like any trap. I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder how many other tramps get retentioned every year, Shane, in all reality. Well, on Not the boats I work on, we retention them every season. I thought we were talking about cruising boats here. <laughs> I retentioned our other polyester ones twice. Mm, don't think it lasted that long. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hmm, nice job. So... Almost done? Getting there. And then what's next? Oh. Anchor. Anchor stuff. Yeah. Finish off the anchor. Yep. So deal with uh, finishing anchor off. Anchor locker. Anchor locker. There's a lot of work there. Lots of details with the anchor uh, roller on the front. And this bits and pieces for the anchor chain to run through and pins and rollers and pipes and tubes and basically I've got to make this huge mongers great big metal chain thing not smash my nice carbon work to pieces. Mm. Looks good though. Are you going to um, tidy up all those bits of line or is that not until uh, not, you're not until happy? I'm happy that it's not it's settled and not stretching anymore. Any special knots you use? Uh, yeah, so a lot of my uh, other rigging mates keep asking me why I'm not splicing all of my little lines to the um, to the stainless steel rod here. Uh, and I tell them it's simple. I woke up years ago that splicing is just a whole bunch of time that you end up wasting when you can do a simple cinching knot, just basically one thumb knot in the end of the rope, a second thumb knot, oops, around the uh, load line. This gets pulled down, and you arrange the knot so that it ends up inside the lashing, like you can see here, this one. You can see the knots going inside the lashing and when I do this up for the final time the knots that are at the net end actually come down to this end and the knots actually this knot configuration hides this knot under here so you actually don't see the knot here so having spliced it and keeping it all neat, neat and tidy makes no difference because you end up with your knot this knot here down here hiding it anyway so there was no, no advantage and it saves me days of doing small splices and doing more line. So, little trick. Yeah. Ah, oh, what? What is that? <laughs> That's a mess. Cock up. That's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. See so someone distracting me. Don't blame me. I need, I need to go Your into poor my workmanship. <laughs> mind numbing place. Into my nothing box. There you go.
go. Thank you. You gotta put your phone down and talk to this one. <laughs> no, I'm taking pictures. Are you happy? Yeah, it's coming out pretty good. Epic weekend of lashing. Looks so good. New front beam, new martingale, new seagull striker, new launcher on and prodder, new trampoline.